Okay, so this is my um, practical lab for Nat 101, and I am making a tincture with um, chickweed. Uh, the reason why I chose chickweed is because it is known to also help with um, obesity and with the, uh, the wetness in the lungs with um, coughing. So I just thought that this would be a well-rounded tincture to make that I would actually use. So I found this amber mason jar at the store. It is two pints, but I'm only gonna go to the one pint mark. Um, I already have the scale ready. I uh, have already sanitized and cleaned everything. That's why everything looks a little wet. So I'm going to add one ounce of herbs to the jar. Almost there. Okay, well, there was exactly one ounce of herbs in this container. So, well, actually 0 0.91, but I think that's as close as I'm going to get considering this was the whole container I just opened. Oh yeah, it says one ounce, so one container. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the scale. We have our one ounce of chickweed. Here is a 16 ounce, sorry, I'm doing this in my formal dining room because my kids took over my kitchen and I was trying to find a place that was not so loud. Um, so I do not have 100 proof. I went to the gas station and they had 80 proof, so that's what I'm going with. So right here is the 16 ounces, which is a pint. Okay, that is 16 ounces of vodka. Now I'm gonna go put this in a warm spot in my kitchen and you have to shake it every so often for approximately two weeks to make sure that it extracts all the constituents. And then when I am done with this and it's ready, it's already the two weeks are up, then I could take a coffee filter, a clean cotton t-shirt, or um, a, uh, what is it, those little kitchen cloths that you use um, to strain out fruits. But anyways, the, the whole purpose is to strain out the herbs and what's left is the, the vodka that has extracted all the constituents in it. And then that is your tincture. So this part's done. Now time to write up the report. <laughs> Thank you.